Hey, welcome back everybody. It's Alex with the Divi Theme Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to talk about using these Animista, Animista, however you pronounce it, um, CSS animations directly in Divi. And it allows you to do some cool things like add um, little attention animations to elements, whether it be a button or pretty much anything else. It can kind of add just kind of a cool, nice touch to it. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is come over here to Animista.net and you can click on start and you'll see that they have a lot of different types of animations entrances exits uh, some text animation attention and then background which are just kinda like zooms and like these Ken Burns effects um, what I use it for most of the time is these uh, attention elements little things that maybe I want to uh, you know shake occasionally like this um, just to draw a little bit of attention to it you know, a wobble, this is a great one for if you have like a floating action button on it, maybe a, a click to call now button. If you have this, uh, you know, maybe set to infinite and then just kind of have it shake. And you can cha change these to, you know, get the right, um, see that might be a little too slow. But anyway, you, you can play with these to get uh, the right animation that you want. Um, but what I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to do this vibrate one. Um, actually, maybe I'll do pulsate. Yeah, like I did uh, on that button. So anyway, you choose the one that you want, and once you have it uh, looking how you want it to look, uh, you just click on the generate code button here, and it's going to give you a, a couple things you just need to copy. So we'll copy this class, and I'm going to put it over here into my Divi theme custom CSS. I recommend that you always use a child theme in this uh, particular one I don't think I have a child theme installed on my demo site here maybe I do oh, I do okay so if you don't have a, a child theme installed you can put it whoops you can put it uh, right here in your custom CSS if you do have a child theme installed which is what I recommend then you come over here to your theme editor hop over to your style CSS and then go ahead and drop it in here um, but for the sake of simplicity I'm gonna drop it into my Divi uh, custom CSS and the theme options here and then we'll come back over here and we'll copy our animation class or our keyframes all right and you'll see that uh, what this basically says is anything with the class of heartbeat give it this animation and it's referencing our heartbeat keyframes animation down here so what we want to do is take this heartbeat we'll save it in our uh, visual builder here in the Divi builder we'll give this element a class of heartbeat and then we'll save it I don't remember if I saved this or not so let me save it perfect perfect that's saved and we'll refresh and you'll see our button is doing our pulsating now one thing that I like to do is when I hover over it I kinda wanna stop it from doing that animation um, so what we'll do is we'll just copy this and we'll give it uh, a selector of you know the class of heartbeat when it's hovered and we'll set this to none that way anytime the mouse uh, is moused over an element with the class of heartbeat it should not do any animation so let's go ahead and refresh this page there you go I think it's just a little bit better user experience if it's not bouncing around you know this one's not as bad but some of the other ones that move maybe a little bit more like the wobble could you know it could wobble off of the person's mouse you know and it could be difficult to click so I think this is a better user experience here so that's all there is to it uh, and again you have tons of different animations and stuff that you could do I, I like to use it primarily for attention elements but there are some text ones here um, I don't necessarily like doing it for entrance and exits although you can um, for things that are above the fold because the reality is if you do it something below the fold as soon as the page loads this is the the animation is gonna happen and it's gonna be off screen so nobody's gonna see it anyway so that's why I, I like to stick to Divi's built-in 
you know, entrances and exits and stuff for um, some of these animations. So anyway, I uh, hope you found some value in this. If you have any questions, definitely let me know, and I will see you guys in the next video.